What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. Um, today is going to be a fairly short one because I've already prepared all my materials uh, just for the length of this video. Um, we're tying a little uh, bait fish, a stickleback, um, whatever you want to call it. It's in natural colors. Um, let me just show it here. This is uh, craft fur in the color wolf. And it's a really, really cool material. Uh, as you know, craft fur is pretty cool, uh, but this color is uh, really, really nice for, for making uh, these super, um, not, maybe not super, but at least very realistic color wise. So let's jump down to the hook in my vise here and crank out, crank out this little uh, baitfish. Let me get the thread started here. off so I will just show this uh, one time so you get uh, get the hang of it so the mat is like this and then I like to just take my scissors and then just kind of get in there and raise it up like this Let's see if I can show it down here so you have like the amount you need right here and then you want to cut it as close to this mat as possible okay so i need to do on the table for that cut it off down here and what you get is this big lump uh, with some fake underfur in it and this you want to plug out at least for the tail so grab the longest ones and then just pull out here. That will allow you to pull out the shorter ones. And that there is a tail. You can see the tips are black. So it really nice, adds a nice uh, touch to the fly. It kind of looks like a, a little tail. They're usually black, the tips of the tail. Lengthwise, I like it about twice the size of the hook shank. So let's get that down on top of the shank here. A couple of loose turns and then just tighten that down. Like this. And this we can use underneath the whole fly, so I'll just show that. Down as well. This will all be covered up by dubbing and more craft fur. Like that. And then I need some dubbing, which I have over here. I'm going to be using STF dub for this which stands for Synthetic Translucent Fiber. Great, it's a really great name. These I want to align. So pull them out, place them on top of each other again, and that will align the fibers. These are too long, so I will trim them, trim them in half. So, then tie that in, make a few turns and then just distribute it a little bit, hold this backwards, like so. This will only add a little bit of bulk underneath uh, all the materials because I want it to be nice and thick. Done. Then grab another bunch of craft fur, which I've already prepared here. I don't know if it's enough, but I'll see. Tie that in a little bit shorter than the tail. Couple of loose 
turns and then get this all the way around the hook. Like so. This, this we can just come off right around there. And fold it. over on itself, tie that down and move forward. So that there is the tail done um, and I will be trimming the entire front part of the fly to like, so this tail um, will stay free of the hook gap and the rest of the fly will be super clean. So let's get some more dubbing. That's also another way you can do this with the dubbing tied in. Let me show that. Uh, but same thing. Align the, the hairs, the fibers, like so. Find the middle. Put your scissors in there and then just in that and then align it again so you could also do it like this just put this big old bundle here on top of the hook like this and then just kind of do it like that so this way you don't have to align them as much you just Put the bundle on just like that. Tie it on top of that. Some nice turn, tight turns. So again. Let's get the craft fur in. For the rest of the fly, I actually want to tie in the bundle on top and on the bottom to really make that head compact. So you have some materials to uh, trim out. Work with it a little bit. So, put this here back. And then just tie in front of that, not on top of it anymore, just in front of it. Like this, that will force it back a little bit. So, get some more going. And at this point, because we will be trimming this, we can just put it on full length to save some time. So this will all be trimmed. Looks like a mess right now, but it will get pretty, I promise. And then just repeat the, the process. This bundle in on the top half here, distribute it a little bit. This thread is so slippery. Kind of, 
kind of always want to move your fly around a little bit if your vise can do that uh, to see if, if the materials are as you want them. Remember it's not a race. I've had people come up to me at the fairs like I can tie this fly in four minutes. That's good. I mean, some people like to use a little bit more time behind the vise because it's also, I mean, it's a hobby within the hobby, right? So some people like to, people like me at least, like to um, fiddle with it and just, you know, on a, on a cold evening, just have fun tying flies. And some people just want to tie flies that are fast to tie and put in the box and go straight out fishing, which I have absolutely no problem with that. So, anyway, the fly is almost done here. I think we can get in another bunch here in front. Let me just get this nice and tight. Kind of build a little thread dam in front here. You can see that. the hook all the way up to the eye of course flip this over another one Be the perfect time for you guys to uh, leave a like if you like this video so far and that's out of the way get this one in like this make sure it's all the way around like so finisher here let's get one of those in like so cut off the thread Now, come in with some UV resin, just a little bit. Put my finger here, put a lid on that. Because I want to and the shape of the head makes it easier to cut. Still haven't charged my lamp actually. <laughs> right, so 
here you can kind of see the shape of the head already so get your long scissors nice and sharp ones and then just start trimming away You always know I'm super focused when I get really quiet. I'm sure you can see what I'm doing here. Just small, small trims, small cuts. Just remember to move the fly around in the vise. And then just work your way through materials and you can kind of see it here if you look on top of the fly that it get this it gets this um, kind of uh, striped design when you tie in the dubbing and the graffer like like I did so very very natural um, colors here oops Hooks are sharp. As you can see it here starting to take shape. Something I like to do is to press the fly like this, like press it flat uh, and then you can kind of see the shape a little bit more and then you can make bigger trims like that. It's almost done. I think I'll just leave it a little bit uglier for the sake of the length of this video again. And then just trim it when, uh, when the camera is off so the thumbnail will look nice at least. But here you can see the shape. Nice teardrop shape. You can of course leave it like this or put on some eyes, which I will be doing. It's just a little bit too fat here on the side. There we go. So you can also do like this, which will open up the fibers a little bit more and you can kind of see the shape it will have when you 
they throw it and it and, and it gets wet so this is not too far off there we go on to some ice drop of UV resin. You can also use super glue or this uh, hardhead kind of thing or just leave out the eyes. I like to put eyes on my flies. Most of them at least. Get that in there. Maybe use my the end of my whip finisher here too. Push it down to make it a bit more flat. Come on. Now this is obviously just to get the eye to stick where I want it and then I will give it a little bit more glue afterwards so it doesn't come off when I'm fishing it. Same thing. Put on a drop there. that go so <laughs> let's just secure those eyes and the fly will be done just put a drop on top of the eye work it in and the front part of the fly here just a little bit so it doesn't come off Same thing on this side, cover the eye and turn just a little bit into the fly here. Zap that. That there is the finished fly. I'm sure you guys can trim it a lot nicer than I did here, but uh, this will fish uh, 
really well and I will take it fishing tomorrow and uh, I don't know hopefully I can uh, catch a fish on it and uh, I don't know get uh, get that feed on Instagram going again I've made a material kit for this exact fly and I will link that down below so if you're interested in tying this fly and have the materials for it do hit the link uh, in the in the description below and it will take you to the the coast fly store uh, I've got going on um, grab yourself a kit a fly tying mat whatever uh, thanks to all the guy who has to all the guys who have already bought uh, some stuff over there it really means a lot thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please do that uh, leave a like if you didn't do that earlier and I will see you guys next week